Hey, what's up everybody? Marcos Viegas here, hoping you had a safe and happy Black Friday and that you didn't have to run somebody over to get that TV that you wanted. As always, this is your Fight Up TV News Brief. Now today in Russia, Ruslan Provodnikov got another win in the win column as he dispatched of Jose Luis Castillo via TKO victory in round number five. Now Castillo, of course, at 40 years old, is a veteran of about 78 fights and he used that experience very well in those five rounds that he was in there in the ring with Provodnikov. He landed a lot of jabs on the face of Provodnikov. On the inside, he would do extremely well, slipping a lot of Provodnikov haymakers and hooks, and would counter back with some really good quality left body hook shots of his own. But it was only a matter of time being in there in the ring with someone the age and someone who had the power of a Provodnikov, as in the fifth round, Provodnikov knocked him down and followed it up with an overhand right that made Castillo do a bit of the stanky leg before the referee went ahead and stopped the fight. With this win, Provodnikov improves to 24-3 and and looks for big marquee matchups with those elite fighters in the 140-pound division. Now, on the undercard of this card, Mickey Rourke, 62-year-old actor, the star of The Wrestler and Iron Man 2, went in there and fought a 29-year-old guy by the name of Elliot Seymour, and he stopped him in two rounds via a body shot. A 62-year-old man stopped a 29-year-old in Russia today, Mickey Rourke, winning via a body shot technical decision. If you saw it online, you were kind of thinking like, hey, uh, what's going on here with the Seymour guy? You're 29 years old and uh, you're fighting like you're 82 years old. It seems Seymour was there either for a payday or to get a hug and a picture with Rourke after the fight. But really, my hat goes off to Mickey Rourke. At age 62, the guy's a millionaire already, has an established career in Hollywood. He doesn't need to be going inside of a ring and fighting uh, just for the heck of it. And he went ahead and did so. Uh, after the fight, Rourke saying that this whole training camp and even this bout helped him deal with some undisclosed personal issues. And he revealed that he wants to have four more fights after this one, all of them to take place in Russia. So what do you think about the two fights, Provodnikov and Mickey Rourke? Go ahead and comment below on the comic box if you missed these fights, you can watch them online at facebook.com slash fightuptv. We uploaded them for your viewing pleasure. And go ahead and give us a follow as well online at fightuptv on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Follow me online as well at Miyamo Marcos on Twitter and at It's Marcos Viegas on Instagram. As always, this has been your Fight Up TV News Brief. I'm Marcos Viegas. Thanking you for watching.